Hello, my name is Robert Lights. Uh, today is September 29th, 2008, and I'm going to explain the universe to you, plus a theory of a magnetic engine. If there is one to be made, uh, the one that I'm looking at should be the one that'll work, okay? Uh, first, the universe. Everybody wants a one-force theory of the universe. Something that ties everything together. And that one thing is time. Everything, I know it might be hard to believe, it's all created of time, okay? Gravity, we think gravity is an accumulation of atoms, the mass of the atoms that pull you down to the planet. However, that's wrong, okay? What's pulling you down is an accumulation of clocks in each atom, okay? Each atom is like a snowflake. Every atom is different. Even if they're the same exact uh, gold atoms or lead atoms, each one, uh, their electrons are spinning never at the same time. Everything is different. So rather than an accumulation of the mass of atoms, okay, what's really pulling you to the ground is time, okay? What a black hole is, what's pulling you into the black hole is, well, it is gravity, but we must understand that gravity is time. Uh, all the laws of gravity still apply, okay? But they apply in a different way. It, it's hard to explain. Uh, let me think about this one. First, let, let, let me try to show you uh, magnetism. Okay, what well, magnetism is. Magnetism is not a force of the universe. Wrong. Magnetism is a creation of time to help time flow. Which means that, let's say a planet is formed. A planet, all of a sudden, uh, magnetic poles appear. There, there will be a North Pole and a South Pole. What that is, that's a creation of time to help time flow. Because one of the laws is that time will make every possible attempt to rotate or flow. When we see a pulsar in outer space, okay, something that's rotating real, real quick, and, well, gee, why did it start to rotate? What, what force was exerted on that? It's the force of time. See, in outer space, there's nothingness, okay? But time exists in outer space, and time is the one force of the universe. The matter that we see is left over from the Big Bang. It was a mistake. It's like the garbage that's left over from the Big Bang. The reason for the Big Bang was to create a time pocket, okay? Nothing more, nothing more, just to create a time pocket. So when the Big Bang exploded, okay, she explodes, kaboom, and everything goes out. 
in a big circle. And what's in that circle are atoms whose electrons have achieved the speed of light. Okay? And they're everywhere. There's an infinite number of atoms okay, that we can't see because they would be in uh, the fourth dimension or the second dimension. I'm, I'm not quite sure how you would say that. Uh, I, I would say the second dimension, but I'm not positive. But anyway, what exists in outer space, even though there's nothingness, and they call it uh, ether or, or whatever, it, there's time out there, okay? If you travel close to the speed of light, you're making an attempt at time disruption, and that's not permitted in the universe. Okay, so what we had was, we had a big explosion. And there's all these time pockets all over the place. And what our matter is made of is time pockets whose electrons got damaged during the Big Bang. And they slowed down. And they appeared in our world as matter. Everything here is damaged. It's all like damaged goods, okay? However, all the electrons in every particle, they have it bred in them. I don't know how to explain this, but they want to achieve the speed of light, okay? They want to be the perfect atom, okay? They, they know that there are other atoms out there, maybe, or, or something like that, but this is, is the best way for me to explain it. Magnetism, it's not a force of the universe. Okay, when we see an electron spinning around the atom, okay, what's making it spin is time. Time makes every possible effort to either rotate or flow. There is no magnetic field. This is where we come back to the magnetic engine, okay? There is no magnetic field that can make an electron flow around, okay? Uh, and, and especially when I see pictures of an atom with electrons flowing this way, and it, it's too complicated. It's way, way, way too complicated. Here on Earth, okay, we can't even set up a magnetic pole in the middle of the room and have something flow around it. And uh, with, with all our computers, and all our technology, no one can actually build an atom. No one can do that. No one can, can make something actually rotate around another object. And I'm going to show you uh, the best possible attempt to probably do that. Every magnetic engine that I have seen, okay, they all use conventional magnets have a North Pole magnet and, and a South Pole on the magnet. But what I have attempted to create is a magnet with the poles lined up on a 45 degree angle. Uh, I, I can show you the machine that I made to create it, however, uh, I, I don't have the equipment to make it, but I'm going to show you some real good evidence, okay? So remember, gravity is time, okay? What is pulling us to the ground is not an accumulation. Don't forget, Newton didn't know about the nanosecond. Newton knew about mass of objects, okay? And when Galileo, when he dropped the balls from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, uh, everyone was astonished, all right? Why do heavy objects, 
okay, and light objects, they all hit the ground at the same time. Uh, time is pulling them to the ground. Every atom in the world that we live on has its own clock in it. And this is the force that is pulling you to the ground. 